Hey, how's it going there, my fellow Goshocks, and welcome back to another episode of Days Gone here on the Michael Goshock channel. And um, hope you guys have enjoyed this series like I am. Uh, it's been amazing doing this for you guys. Um, and yeah, uh, we actually finished the mission of that giant mission we did last episode. So if you didn't check that out, go check out that mission. And if you want to check out the entirety of the mission, check out the three previous previous episodes because it was one giant mission. I had to uh, separate it in three episodes. So yeah, without further ado, I don't want to bore you guys. Let's just get right into the video. Today we're going to have a new pr progress on Sarah. So hope you guys are into that. I'll see you on the video, guys. Enjoy. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Days Gone. And last episode we finished that giant mission we were doing to take down the Rippers. We killed the boss, aka Jesse Williams Carlos, whoever, however you want to call him. Let me just put a band-aid. There you go. However you want to call him. And after the end of the last episode... I actually stumble upon this tower which I can um, climb upon and just look at this game's graphics. Yo, and look over there. Over over there where where's that bridge? That's actually where the big ore is at, I think, if I'm not mistaken. But look at these graphics. It's just amazing. There's some smoke there, so probably some enemies. Camp of marauders. Just look at the extension of the lake man and hey everybody just judges a game by its uh, water graphics I feel like the water graphics are pretty good <laughs> just kidding but yeah that was a weird intro I guess just wanted to get that out of the way this game is just this game is just really amazing um oh yo yeah, continue doing a good job for the camp, I think. Thank you for your pr participation. Um, but yeah, uh, this game is just so beautiful. I, I don't know. Kind of reminds me of The Last of Us mixed with some of The Walking Dead and Phantom Pain, Metal Gear Solid The Phantom you Pain. Because hey, the, the Last of Us pretty easy Don't because the crafting system and all of that, okay. and the gorgeous graphics, come on, man. Barely. This this Stop game is way time. better, but it kind of... It, back in 2014, this when I played The Last of Us for the first time, those graphics were next-gen, and uh, yeah, these guys, these graphics are awesome as well. <clears throat> Oops. <coughs> I'm sorry for that, guys. I'm probably going to cut that, but I don't know. <clears throat> But yeah, the these these graphics are just amazing in my opinion. Got uh, good shit in stock today. I'm talking Boss, about graphics. Do we have any I mean that doesn't mean graphics, but do we have anything we can buy? Actually. Suspension. Oh, I don't know. Not enough money. Already have that. Not enough money. Okay, you don't have enough money? For anything? Well, oh, this is pretty cheap. I'll that'll buy it. You. Yeah, that'll last me. Uh, wheel yeah, tree. Exhaustive. Um. Th does this increase the durability? Um, I guess I'll buy the four yeah, because f if the number is higher, I guess it's better. Handlebars, uh, yeah, I guess that's, that's cheap piece. as well. Nice and Break, and what is this? Oh, Fender. Uh, let me just do quick maths. Can we buy both of these? Oh no, we can only buy one. I just really want to buy this one so we can have a, an extra piece of paint on the bike. You? So yeah, nice. Sure. Right. All oh, right. and by the way, one. Um, I want to change the custom decal because we just got some new ones he's my brother I think this is the one we had 
Um, Dakar, I think we already had this one. Earning or keep? Uh, I think we already had this, this one as well. God of War. Is this a reference or... Uh, I don't think so, but... Concrete Genie. Okay. Squid Ink. Uh, yeah, doesn't sound pleasing. Keep them safe. That's the thing we got. Hmm, not really good. Lost Lake Encampment. Yo. Just because we work for this camp now. Let's get this one. Just just to vary the types of paint we have. And currently we're like halfway to what level... What? You need me, man. See ya, Buzz. What the fuck is wrong with you? I know what I want. I, I got you some... I spend all my hey, fucking dude. credits on you. How's it going, man? Jesus, man. So when the Rippers hit us, <laughs> I, I thought we were all goners, you know? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I heard what you did, you know? About how you took them on. Christ. Yeah, yeah it well, doesn't matter. I don't believe everything you hear. Uh, all right. Yep. Hey, Deke. You stay whole out there, man. Okay. Deacon. Good to see you. Hey, I heard. You know? I mean, what you did for us. What you, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> what? All of them. I just. Yo. I know you had to do Special forces it. condition? What else was gonna stop them, you know? Yeah, look, Blair, I'm not proud of what I had to do. You know that, hmm. right? I mean, it had. We had to. <laughs> look, <laughs> they were coming. Yeah, yeah, I know. You don't have to explain anything to me. I was here when they attacked, remember? I... I don't know. I guess I'm just tired, you know? Yeah. It's understanding. Alright, what I wanted to see is... Uh, I guess we have a, all the ammo full? What? Wait, uh, don't we have yep. the a sniper rifle? Oh, we lost Schizo sniper all rifle. all kinds of stuff. Ooh, that's not... Oh, Boozer Shotgun. Um, yeah, I'll keep the... This bad boy for now special. We got this thingy, but I kind of want to... Let me just equip this. I know that... This one doesn't do as much damage, but it's better at stopping the enemies from running at me. It's a little slight more accurate. Fires faster, which I kinda don't care to for now. Cause I'm not taking on hordes with a sniper, of course. Um and penetration, that's a could get a triple or something with the sniper rifle. I don't know. But I kinda wanna go with the crossbow to see if we got any new bolts. I know you like hanging around with me, but... Alright, let's just fill Good up choice. this ammo. And let's buy suppressors okay. for all of these. Mm, that should work. Even though we're not using yep, a sniper rifle nice. or something for now, we would buy those. Yep. And yeah, we're stockpiled uh, on flashbangs. Yep. Now that I'm thinking on flashbangs... Take care now. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, Blair. Before we get into suspicion, now that I'm thinking about the flashbangs, we haven't used them um, yet. So yeah, I'll have to figure out something. All right. Um, let's just get into the mission. The first like seven, maybe even ten minutes of this video was just me talking, which is kind of boring for no, you guys. This is your clutch. I know where the clutch is. Uh, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know what a clutch is. Oh, okay. she's starting right. Addy right. out to ride yourself, the bike. Okay. Right. And Deacon's probably gonna get a memory. I think we. I think I read that he is taking um, Sarah to the workplace on Iron Butte. I think that's what the mission title was. I don't remember. And yeah, guys, once again, if I sound a little off, it's just... I'm doing um, recording spree, and I'm currently really tired. 
because I really need to get these videos done so when I have to put them out I'll put them out on YouTube and yeah that's it pretty much hope that doesn't affect your viewing experience all right this this cutscene does it take so hey, much hey, load. hey what are you doing you can't park here uh, I'm just here to pick it's up Sarah property now turn around get the hell out of here come on okay <laughs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. Hey, listen, asshole. This is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you. Move it. It's like I was trying to say. I'm just here She's to pick up... Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. All right. Oh, and Jim... Deacon. I'm not with her. She's with me. Hold on tight. All right. Sarah is. Why do you always do that? Driving the bike. Do what? Act yeah. like such a dick. Oh come on! He started it. What are you? Five? True, I guess. Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas. Rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I've been <laughs> here. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. That's a nice, quiet road, right? Were you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Oh, so Sarah understands, I guess. Alright, I'm currently doing nothing, literally. I guess that truck might hit us, just like the time Deacon was riding. People really hate guys riding motorcycles. Bikes, I guess. I don't know, people, I don't know, people don't like... Um... Oh shit, look out! Look, see, the guy was on the other lane. I don't know. Oh god. Oh my god. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. True. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people that would have panicked, they would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was. <sighs> I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. No. I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. You... No. No, Matt? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, uh, um... Well, I'll be less involved from now on. I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know. I, mean, I know. Had, I said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah. I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Oh, okay. no, no, the... Deacon. <laughs> so, uh... You think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? Nah, they didn't know. come. I mean, you know, I, we I saw that last, I step back from the MC the that, last uh, time. I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just, I'm not gonna change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out. I see them. Hey. Are they, are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. 
Um, something's what going on. Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel. Uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. Deacon's bike is really different from the um, day zero to... Because I think if we stop the game, yeah, zero days gone. His, his back has really been changed a lot. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you, says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Mm -mm. Work can break you down, man. Work and ah! Oh no, that that disrespect, man. Okay, what was the point of this cutscene? I didn't saw something major. I think maybe now we're gonna go to her workplace. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe she's like in her workplace trying to find a cure or something. Hmm. Do you reckon that's it, guys? I don't know. Imagine if she started this whole thing. <laughs> That'd be funny. And kind of strange at the same time. Because she would be already infected, wouldn't she? Okay, that would have explained why the camp would be overrun, I guess. I don't know. That's a lot of questions and no answers. So, yeah. Let's just see what happens. Look, Addy, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addy, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. Damn. Here it's. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come Clarence, on. what? O'Brien, this is St. John. Just answer your goddamn radio. St. John. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. Oh, people with clearance. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing uh, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was doing. Okay, just okay. do me... I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. O'Brien, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. O'Brien out. I guess that's true, because he did all those jobs and he pretty much found nothing. So, yeah. Alright, I guess that was the whole point of the mission. So, we're back on track with Sarah. How much? 70%. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if this game is about to end or something. I hope not. But yeah. Um, how about any more missions we have to do currently? We can go up, up here. Drown them like rats. Visit Sarah's memorial stone. I guess we can do that. Let's just fast travel quickly over to Hot Springs. Um, talk to Tucker. And then we'll head out and go over here. So yeah, guys, give me a second. I'll do all of this talking with Tucker because that probably doesn't mean a lot to you. I'll come back in a second. Saint John, this is O'Brien. Oh, O'Brien. I need to see you in person. Jesus, O'Brien, just would you tell me what you found? Is is she alive or isn't she? I have something to give you. What Brian. is it? Yeah. I've transmitted the coordinates. Meet me there. O'Brien out. O'Brien. God damn it. What do you have to tell me? Iron Mike's looking for you. He said. Who's man? Listen, just uh, tell him I'll be back. I gotta. You remember what I told you? Um, 
The night that Sarah died, Nero, they bugged out. They only took their own people, feds and people who had federal clearance levels. Wait, Deke, what the hell are you talking about? Look, it's probably nothing, but there's something I gotta do. Deacon out. <laughs> Alright. Let's start with Tucker real quick Can and I, uh, I guess we will do this really quick and then I'll go over here. Meet O'Brien. Alright, let's do that. Um I'll talk to Tucker really quick and I'll come back to you guys when I'm over at the memorial stone. Deep. Information, what information, O'Brien? Right. Possibly have left to say. <laughs> I guess they can, can be right. This is Radio Free Organ. Oh, I'm Radio sure Free Organ. Free. What? War on terror. Global warming. None of that matters now that we're in the shit. <laughs> True. Oh, oh shit. What is this? So listen up. What is that back there? Hello there. There. For weapons of mass destruction that didn't exist. And global war? Just a bunch of lying scientists. Well, in the pockets of those gunning to profit off of all the doom and gloom. When you think about it, all this. Just another way to build unrest in the people. If we're too busy arguing about polar ice caps and genetically altered food and jihad, then we're blind to what's really going on behind the curtain. Don't be fooled by all their misdirection, folks. They point one way, you look straight at them. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. So your sage advice, Cope, is to assume that everyone's just lying their asses off. Is that about it? So... No, that's, that's, that is about it. That's pretty good advice. It's a little late. That's good advice. Yeah, go to it, fellas. All right. Nice, we are here. Yeah. I probably didn't cut that out, actually, because there was a lot going on in the meantime. But it was a good try. So, okay, let's talk to Sarah. Let's see what hey. happens. Me again. I know. I know. It's uh, been a while since I've been up here. It's just, um... Okay, we uh, had a run-in with the Rippers, uh, with Carlos. <laughs> See, um... Turns out, Carlos is actually this two-bit hood we knew from before. Back in the day, he was a fully patched member of the MC. Oh, he was a member of the MC. Yeah, I know. What are the odds of him surviving? Jesse goddamn Williamson and so many others died. And uh, I never told you what happened to Jesse. Uh, well, you know, because you hate it when I talk about club shit. So let's just say that some bad shit went down. Really bad shit. And Jack, he, uh, he, well, he kicked Jesse out of the club. But you can't take your colors with you. See... And that, that's a problem. So, the problem is Jesse had a mongrel's tat on his back, just like mine, you know? So, yeah, me and Boozer, Jersey Jim, we held him down. Oh, Jack, that's why... Uh, took a welding torch to, uh, to his back. Oh, but so that's the reason. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I, I never told you because... Uh, oh, the, that's me... Never be with someone who could do so that's maybe because why Jack went to prison. Hey, you know, I would tell you that I've changed, but at this point, there's, there's no reason to lie to you anymore. True. I killed him. Jesse. I had to. I mean, the guy was a goddamn psychopath. But, uh, we didn't stop with him. Boozer and I, we, we blew him up. Rippers, we blew up their camp, we drowned them like a bunch of sorry rats, and you know what? I'm not sorry. I just thought you should know. Me neither, to be honest. 
I gotta go. Uh, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right, nice. Drum them like rats. More XP and more percentage to storyline. And I guess now let's go meet O'Brien. Let's see what he has to say. After that, probably the video will end. I, got a use for you. I don't know. Finally. I don't know how long this has been. We'll have to see. Um. <laughs> Okay, so I guess let's go ahead and go to O'Brien. I will cut to me getting there because it's a long ride. So yeah, guys, I'll see you in a second. Radio free organ. The truth shall set you Another free. Radio Free Organ? Let me tell you, before this shit, we were numb and we were dumb. We were blindly taking in opiates of all kinds. Oh. Sedated like gate. fat, happy cows. He's talking about drugs. But now, well, we're feeling the pain. All of it. Every cut. We are wide awake. And we are watching. You see the truth of what I've been saying from the beginning. No one can get anything past us. We're the ones running the show now. And we're doing it a damn sight better than the feds ever did. Take a deep breath. Let me talk yeah, right in Copeland, front of Copeland. The pain? Who fucking is it? Well, fucking Jesse Carlos Williams. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah, you hear that, Copeland? You hear that, brother? I'm looking straight at you. All right, I just ca I just came here to Copeland to refill my bike. It's said I had money here. Got a bounty job for you. And yeah, to I'm do listening. the. And unlock this at Ned least. Walker. A red scarf. He and his crew came to the gate the other night. Wouldn't let him in. He killed one of my guards and took off. Hmm. You have someone to follow him? He's holed up at a marauder camp just north of O'Leary Mountain. I think you know where that is. No, but I'll find him. So Copeland knows where 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 our last camp was, I guess. Hey, so Steve, yeah. How's it going? I'm just David. gonna go ahead and go to here. So yeah. Let Alright, let's go do this Meet O'Brien mission. Why am I here? That's what Deacon is asking, I reckon. Because literally there is no point of him being there. He could just said by the radio what the hell was oh um please please forget what just happened <laughs> please forget that uh maybe maybe just uh skip like five seconds i don't know <laughs> oh and there's wolves around us what the hell man and yo i think there's like a a thingy around here that we have to use n the nitro. Oh, what the hell? Uh, that's worth checking out. Oh, yeah, this is it. Nice. Another one of these. Nice. And gasoline, that's just what I needed. Alright, let's refill this, get the um, medical stuff to... I don't know, what should we increase this time around? I think we haven't increased the focus. Let me see. Uh, no, it's uh, right here. It's, oh, no. It's uh, somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. Focus is the one that it's more down, I guess. And after that, we can listen to the recording. Good. Good, good. All right, no focus. 
really useful, I feel like. I always had trouble nice. concentrating. Alright, let's listen to this hey, while we're going. You see the for next week? Yeah, what about it? Yeah, they got our team scheduled for pickups at Dead Coyote. Oh shit. Really? What is that? It's not on our route. I don't know, man. I check with the CEO. What if it's on the books? It's not on my route. Yeah, I'm kidding. Me neither. I don't know if you guys around all the time. Oh shit. I've got a specific set of stops I have to make. I've got time sensitive tests I'm doing. Traps that have to be checked. Hey, tell it to the CEO. I don't make the schedule and I don't pick the rotations. Yeah, but I do. Thanks for telling me. Sure thing. No problem. All right. Oh, he's already there. Okay. Have you been waiting there since you called me? So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust to let me aren't happy with what's going on. So why oh, am I okay. here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. How did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Negro personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Mm -hmm. The wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? Over on, I guess. A year ago. Local militia group. Oh no, a militia group. A militia group. Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Ooh. Crater Lake. I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. They're evolving. As things are right now. They're gonna get worse. A lot worse. What? They're gonna get worse? O'Brien, oh, you owe me an explanation. After you did literally nothing. Alright, I guess we have um, a lead now. We're like detectives in the apocalypse looking for our wife that is supposedly dead. Okay, so I guess we're gonna have to find an, a new... I guess we're gonna find a new... what is it? Ah, what is it? A new space on the map. Let me fast travel real quick over here to see what is the the mission. I will not begin it. I would just like to see one thing. Because if if I'm not mistaken, some people told me that at some point in the game, you actually have to leave the northern lands or something like that. And go to the su southern lands. Or whatever. And, I don't know, the map, it's really big. But, I guess it's gonna get bigger, maybe? Oh, new skill, nice. Let me go for ranged combat, I really am enjoying that. Um... Reduces the reload time for ranged weapons. Increases ranged weapon accuracy. Hmm. Yeah, let's get that one. Oh, we actually have two points. So let's get the one above as well. So we reload. Oh, skill. T oh. Headshot kills. Recover health. Hmm. Increases ammo capacity. Oh. Okay, nice, nice. I want to get this one so I have more bullets. Alright, nice. We spend all our skill points and I think this is the mission, if I'm not mistaken. Another radio free organ. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The 
same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Hmm, okay. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But I am a reasonable man. <clears throat> so you get one warning. Listen up. Stop what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Cause we will. And when we do, you will pay. I'll personally string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, we'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. All right. Yeah, well, Cope, I gotta say, I don't like it any more than you. Do your worst. Stop by any time. Yeah, I'll, st I'll do that. All right. Some people told me that there is a point in the game where you go to the southern lands and you have to leave completely the um, All right. Let's northern see what lands. The old man's got to say. Let me just see if this mission is it. If it's not, then I'll stop the video right here and I'll do the mission next time. Riding Nomad again. Vetsing the story will lock you out from the northern regions. Okay, this is it. Okay, so if you're asking why am I interested in if I get locked from the northern lands? Oh well, first off I saw some cool rifles and weapons in the store right there. And if I'm not mistaken, there is like an LMG on Tucker's camp. And we're really close on both of these camps to completing... Um, what is it called? completing the level 3 camp so I'm gonna try and do that off camera to get those two camps level 3 and then I will continue on with the story I guess so yeah if you don't see these gone in a couple days it's because I'm trying to do that so yeah anyway I'm gonna have to end this episode here we're really locked down we're gonna have to um, Go to the southern regions, I guess. Got good. Let me see something. So yeah, I see some... Like, if if you see, like... Up here, we have discovered everything. Like, there's this bit where we can drive to. But after this, it's literally white. So I guess there's nothing there. And if you go down here... You can see, you see some mountains and you see some some stuff there. So I guess that's where we're going. So yeah, I'll have to... Um, off camera, do some work. Doing work for those camps. The Tucker, and... I'm not gonna worry too much about Copeland. Mm, I don't know. Yeah, they're really... Th this one would take a lot of time to evolve. And if we're talking about our bike, we just can... We can just evolve it here. Anyway. So yeah. Shit All right. Today. So hey, I'll end. I'll end this episode here today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. For some reason, Deacon is like um, in this position. I don't know why. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below. Click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any, any more videos on this channel. And if you really wanna wanna know when I post every single videos. Click that little bell and there's going to be something that's going to appear that it is like um, know every notification, uh, enable every notification or enable only, only a couple notifications on this channel. And I want you to click enable all notifications on this channel so you don't miss when I upload a new video. Without further ado... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!